It is correct and reasonable that the dimensions of slide piece and ramp plate are not matched. Some reasons will be explained to follow the chapter below. Slide piece belongs to one kind of plastic material. It will be deformed slightly under stress applied. It is an elastic, but it is not as soft as rubber. So you can feel its strength when press it by a finger. And you will be hurt as painful as you step on a Lego when you step on a slide piece that is on the ground. Ramp plate is one kind of metal. Under normal compressed force, it is not deformable and dimensions changed or neglected. The installation of the slide piece into the ramp plate is one kind of interference fitting. It can be understood that force must be applied to complete the installatio. And you may feel a little resistance during the installation. To achieve this interference fitting, the dimensions difference between the slide piece and the ramp plate must fulfill one or both statuses as below. One, the specified width of the slide piece must be around 0.05 to 0.30 millimeters larger than that of the specified related width of the ramp plate. Two, the inner height of the slide piece at the specified position must be around 0.05 to 0.20 mm smaller than the specified related height of the ramp plate. Both the two points are one as said above. The related specified dimension differences between the slide piece and ramp plate must exist. Otherwise the slide piece will be at loose status. This is why the dimensions of the slide piece and the ramp plate are unable to compare with each other. It is because the installation of slide pieces and ramp plates is one kind of plastic and metal. It is different from a combination of one metal with another metal. The dimension relationship between the slide piece and the ramp plate is pretty troublesome and confusing. So it is not easy to understand the fitting of the slide piece versus the scooter. It will be easier and better to refer to our instructions about the correct application of the slide piece.